Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we will solve YITM online BSc degree Python programming week one uh, assignment. In the first question, it says that accept five words as input and print the sentence formed by these words after adding uh, a space between consecutive words and a full stop at the end. So let's write the code. So to accept five words, uh, we have to take uh, five variables. Okay, so let's write. I will copy this five times. And I will change uh, the variable name. Okay. Now I will print these five words after adding a space between consecutive words and a full stop at the end. Okay. So let's write it. Now run this code. Okay. So you can see that uh, the output is uh, this is a good day and uh, there is space between two consecutive words and uh, a full stop at the end. So this is the answer of the first question. In the second question, uh, it says that accept a sequence of five uh, single digit numbers separated by commas as input. Print the product of all five numbers. Okay. So the let's take uh, the input is uh, one, two, three. 4 and 5 okay so we have to product this 1 2 3 4 5 and that will be 120 let's uh, write the code so first we will take a variable that will uh, input uh, the five single digit numbers separated by commas okay so that is a equals to in the next line we will take a variable name product so and uh, that will uh, multiply the digits for uh, index uh, 0 we have to write int int a and in this way we will write all this five okay now run this code and we will take one uh, comma two comma three comma four comma five okay and that is 120 so this is the right answer so this is the answer of the second programming question okay in the third programming question it says that accept the date uh, in uh, dd hyphen mm hyphen yyy format as input and uh, print the year as output okay so first uh, we will take a variable and that is uh, let's take it uh, a a equals to input in the uh, next line uh, we will uh, just uh, take this y y y this 4 y part from the input so how can we take this out so we can write b equals to a 6 10 and now we will print the value this now run this code 0 1 one two two zero zero one two zero zero one is the answer okay so this is the answers of the third programming question fourth programming question it says that assume that uh, several iit start uh, offering online degrees across uh, multiple branches the email id of a student is defined as follows branch degree year role at the student dot on online degree 
dot institute dot ac dot in. So uh, in the question it says that uh, the student is from the computer science branch, passing a BTech degree from I IITM, starting from the year 2001 with uh, 7412 as the roll number, branch degree and year are codes of length two, while roll and institute are codes of length four. Accept of student's email ID as input and print the following details, uh, one item on each line. So the code of this problem will be so first we will take a variable a which uh, takes the uh, input from the user so in the fifth line uh, we already uh, write the code a equal to input function okay in the next line uh, we will uh, print the branch name so the branch uh, the branch code will be uh, two characters e a bt 21 7 4 1 2 at the rate online degree dot iit m okay so if we write the index of this string so that will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and goes on okay so to print uh, the branch name so we have to uh, write uh, it's uh, a starting index is 0 and uh, it will uh, goes to 1 so 1 plus 1 that is 2 so in this way I write uh, all the codes so degree equals to a 3 5 and uh, y equals to a 6 8 uh, roll uh, in this way we print uh, br print degree y roll number and institute okay so okay so now run this code and uh, i will type uh, cs uh, underscore dt underscore 21 underscore 7412 at the rate uh, online big at the rate uh, student online degree dot iitm dot ac dot in okay. and you can see that uh, it already printed cs bt217412 iitm so this is the right answer and this is the answer of the problem number four in the next question it says that uh, accept uh, two positive integers uh, x and y as input print the numbers of digits in x to the power y you should be able to solve this problem using the concept covered in week one okay so uh, we have to take two variables which uh, accept uh, the integers from the user so let's take it uh, a equals to int input will be equals to int input so it uh, says that print the number of digits is uh, in xy so to find uh, the number of digits uh, we have to use the len function so okay let's take another variable c equals to len str We have to typecasting this integer to string because uh, we can't use this len function in a uh, integer values. Okay, so that's why we typecast uh, this integer to the string data type. Okay, so now we will print the value, print c. Okay, so now let's run this code. Uh, two, three. That is one. Okay. So this is the answer. Uh, in the last question, it says that uh, accept two positive integers m and uh, n as input, and there are two cases to consider. If m less than n, then print m as output. If m greater equals to n, then subtract n from m. Okay. We have to take uh, two variables. So that is m equals to int input 
okay in the next line is uh, says that uh, if uh, m less than n then print uh, m as output so now we take the if else uh, condition so if m less than n print uh, m okay if m uh, greater equal to n subtract n from m call the difference m1 if uh, m1 greater equal to n then subtract so this is a loop so we have to use the while loop so while while m greater equal to n in this while loop equals to m minus n and uh, after executing this while loop we will print the value m okay so that will be of print m okay so now run this code and if we 5 and the 2 the output will be one so this is the answer of the last programming question thank you <clears throat> ice in my veins i've been driving this train years in this lane there's no stop in this flame because i came to the game and i changed it to play how i like rearranged it to my own domain yeah I